coming up this week on Stage to the Cage. So, uh, this morning, got up very early, got the train out to London, because I'm doing uh, an event for Johnson's baby. I, I have moments where I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, this is stupid, this is stupid, I'm fucking 41 years of age. I'll shake Paul's hand at the end of it, I'm sure he will with me, and we'll fucking go out for a beer, and we'll say, fuck me, what, why did we do that? Stupid way. The UK fans don't know what is coming. It's probably the one promotion that I would pay my own money to go and see. I was Jake, I'd be concerned. When you add time, effort and consistency into something, the result you get is progress. Jake and Paul have been adding all those ingredients and we, their teams and most importantly themselves, are starting to see the fruits of that labour. They are getting better. I would go as far as even to say they're getting good and at quite a pace and they are still putting in that time, that effort while also dealing with their other work obligations. Now. Who do we know that has such a mad life that it could be a mix of fighting and maybe a baby or parent event? It could only be Jake Quickenden. So uh, this morning, got up very early, got the train down to London because I'm doing uh, an event for Johnson's baby um, about new parents and how they kind of navigate through being new parents and I'm on the panel um, as kind of a dad to a two-year-old who's kind of navigated through that early parenthood and how it can affect your mental health and how you kind of react being a, a dad and how it compares to the mom and stuff like that so it's a lovely little event there's some really nice families here and just get to talk about how much I love being a dad so it's great anyway do you know what I mean because I could talk about Leo all day great little event and um, that's my life. One, two. Did what? One, two, one, two. Thank you. I think as a dad, I felt quite useless. Um, and that then made me question myself as a dad because um, there's certain things that I couldn't do or there's certain things that Leo didn't want me to do. Um, so the, I remember the first few months, a couple of times, I took myself away and I actually, like, I felt a little bit like there was no need for me to be there. Do you any tips for combating mental health problems? Look at how happy your little baby is now. Look how, <laughs> look how amazing you're doing. As a dad, you're doing amazing. Don't be too hard on yourself. We all will have a bad day. We all will have a hard day. We will all wake up and go, oh, why did I do this? Like, I can't, I can't do it. Focus on you and what makes you happy, whether or not that's the gym, whether or not that's going for a walk, taking the dogs out, going fishing, just going in, sitting in the bath and, and, and reading a book. I often go in the bath and light a candle and listen to Celine Dion. Like, <laughs> honestly, it makes me happy. Um, so find just those, those little things, but also know that when you are struggling, there's a thousand other people out there that are sat at home and they're really struggling. Yeah, so the event is finished and it went it went really well, man. It was like such a nice, it was just such a nice thing to see so many different families navigating through parenthood. It brings it all back, like being a parent. Being a parent's probably like the biggest thing you're ever gonna do. There was a there was a point when watching the film, I, there was a, there was a, a guy in there who's actually from Scunthorpe as well, and I didn't I didn't even know, and I could see that he, he was struggling, and I and I kind of know how hard parent in, at the beginning was for myself as well. Like, I I found like I struggled quite a bit um, so when it all finished I just wanted to go give him a big hug just a big man hug um, and tell him that he was sound and he's doing all the right things and that's the best bit about being not even on TV man it's not even about being on TV it's about being able to just talk to people about your own experiences and like if me having a little chat with him and telling him that he's doing all the right things helps him today then that's quite a good thing, I think. The event in itself was wicked, it's done. I'm gonna go back in and maybe eat a bit more of the free food and then uh, that's it for the day. Head back home and, 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 and see what tomorrow brings. We are at the Grapple Chapel. 
brand new sexy mask now. Feeling good, not ripping me fucking poor feet apart anymore. Um, I'm about to do some uh, our Tuesday morning jujitsu session, which is probably the best session of the week, I think. Um, some fucking heavy bastards in here though. Got our clampy over there, Lou's in, Sam's in, Gordon's in, fucking sorry, Gordon's in over here. It's slightly better every week, which by, by, by what you mean? I'm surviving for slightly longer and tapping for less times. Did someone get some kit, did they? Did someone get some kit, did they? And not, and not get 2XL set as well? The main focus has been on his skill acquisition, develop his, developing his, his fitness alongside his, like with his rolling and sparring and things like that. But skill acquisition has been the main focus, what we've been after for him. Obviously, he's a high performer in all that he does, you know, in his, in his profession is exceptional. So he understands the concepts and the core concepts of becoming good at something and what it takes. The isolation of something, the controlling of it. So when I'm here like this, I'm not like, that's a Kimura, yeah. Right, but there's a big difference in the fundamentals of what I'm after to make it as easy as possible for you lot to get. Right, so when I'm here, I'm sorry I can't be because of this knee, but as we're like this, this is Oh, my. Yeah, so obviously Jake looks like he's going to be a good opponent for Paul. He's got a good, good coach in James Webb. Looks an athletic guy. Um, and I think, I, I've said it a few times before, I think they're actually going to put on a really good standard uh, of an MMA fight. Um, obviously, we don't expect the guys to be be pros yet, but I think you'll I think you'll find that at a really good level. Um, but you know, not to not start giving Jake state, but I just think Paul's a little bit tougher than Jake. I think uh, Jake might be an athlete, but honestly, Paul's Paul's a tough, tough lad. I know he's he's obviously known for his jokes and make people laugh, but he, he's a tough guy. So that was Jake. I'd be concerned, but you know, I hope they both put on a great fight. That, that's one. Wow. Yeah. Well, you still have been practicing. I've been there, so. It's better to know for November, though, isn't it? When you do this in November. Try it, though. Try it, watch what happens. You're trying to help me. I get fucking bullied, didn't you? He bullies me. He bullies me. He comes across there nice on the fucking room on the camera, isn't that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bastard! <laughs> it's all gonna work, no ball is gonna Come land at me! Bet you can't tap me. <laughs> What's that? Bet you can't tap me. How much? Ten it. The McLaren! Bet <laughs> <laughs> you're sniffing it. <laughs> Get some practice. <laughs> Easy, you're so weak. <laughs> started over here pretty much. Um, I've been fortunate enough to see the shows, the tiniest of shows, to literally fighting and competing in the UFC. Uh, to watch Octagon, now when I when I went and we took James Lewis over there to compete and to fight there, I, I weren't expecting it to be as big, as professional, um, and for them to treat us as well as they did. I think it's an exceptional show. I'm like very, 
very glad I've got fighters involved. The, the fans make it, the fans make it. You know, it makes you not just want to win your fight, but you truly do want to put a show on for the fans. I think it's just, that's just something people say, but the interactions I've had with the fans, I really, really want to put a show on for them. Yeah, so obviously we've got the uh, Octagon are now coming to England, coming to Manchester. The UK fans don't know what is coming. They've never seen anything like an Octagon card. Um, it's probably the one promotion that I would pay my own money to go and see. Oh, yeah. And you can feel your head just going... <laughs> it's almost psychedelic. I've, I've come to kind of weirdly like... I know it's got to be bad for me, but I kind of enjoy it. I can't imagine sniffing glue. <laughs> it can't be good for you. Just fucking... Yeah. I'm still losing 90% of the time. And I'm still getting caught in. Me, me balances off in certain areas. Like besides all this fighting stuff like that, and just to be learning something and actually see progress, so good for you. And especially something like this that I never thought I'd be good at. Like I'm not a natural fighter or athlete in, in any way, shape. I've never been athletic or anything like that. So yeah, to actually be making progress and being able to hold my own to some some extent against these guys is it's just it's mad. So. I feel like I'll be coming to this gym and know these for as long as, I, I, as, as far as I can see. I don't, I don't feel like I'm going to stop doing this. So I, I have moments where I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, this is stupid. This is stupid. I'm fucking 41 years of age. What am I doing? And you do have those little moments of doubt, but then, yeah, it's a, uh, I think on the whole, it's just, yeah, it's a great thing. I already respected like sports people but I don't think there's a sport in the world that kind of deserves more respect than MMA like you get footballers on 300 grand a week for just going to do an hour's worth of training and then kick a foot at a weekend these guys are getting booted in the face <laughs> breaking their legs and they're back in the gym 14 weeks later to go out and fight for a few grand do you know what I mean like it, it so that's something that's really made me like kind of respect the sport so much more I'm just tired all the time I'm hurting all the time but if you want to be a fighter you've got to train like a fighter I guess I'm fucking naked <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. So it was about 15 weeks ago, probably a couple, like you said, a couple days after um, after you guys were here. She can oh. right over there where we were just that yeah training where that sway is on that wall. Yeah, same sort of thing. Someone went, someone went for like a leg reap, and a massive massive noise happened, and I thought it was my knee. I picked up my knee, and my foot was gone. Yeah. Windscreen wiper and, and Webby was downstairs having a having a sauna and he came upstairs he was like oh, not good, it's pretty yeah, shit. What was I was told to do that day? That's what he always misses what out on that story. I was told, I was told to have a rest on day. Sundays. Have don't a rest day on Sundays. So I rest now on Sundays. You heard it here first. No more train on Sundays. Recovery is key. Recovery is key. Elbows and hands on the floor. Elbows and hands, goes down, pinch everything. Elbows away from elbows away from over his head. Elbows down. Everything away, pinch, pinch, pinch. Can you hook inside his legs? Yeah. Can you get that underneath and inside? Get that in, underneath and inside, and we're gonna then go heavy hip. Let's go. Or if not, we push down on one of the knees. Let's go back to half guard. Yeah, they go push down one of the knees. Push down one of the knees, Fred. One of the knees, push down. Yep. Go, 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 Left on the hip, kick it round. Now, try it out, look now. And pinch your knees, spread like this. Pinch your knees together. 
harder in the world than doing that five minute rounds. It is absolutely fucking relentless. Just done, I think I did six or seven five minute rounds. Wrestling, Jiu Jitsu, just continuous fucking pressure. Round with Oz, two rounds with Webby, round with Mash, round with Charlie, round with Fred. Experience is thought he's gonna be winning the title this year, Oz is. Webby's obviously yes, sir. middleweight fucking world champion soon. Fred, Mash and Charlie are big boys, you know, so having their bodies is just going to help because going in at 77 kilograms, rolling with guys that are 110, 115, do you know what I mean? Like, it's going to be beneficial to me because he's a strong, strong bastard. I'll shake Paul's hand at the end of it. I'm sure he will with me and we'll fucking go out for a beer and we'll say, fuck me, what, why did we do that? Stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> when I did the baby chat, I said, you've got to do, you've got to find something that you love. You don't get good overnight at something. You've got to work on everything that you do. You've got to work on being a partner, and work on being a parent, work on being a fighter. I didn't wake up at fucking five years old and I could kick a footy, I practiced. And people are too easy to give up nowadays rather than just putting the work in. And the work's the process, man. The work's where you grow. Fuck me, put that on an Instagram reel. That is a motivational speech. Just this is what I do after every session, just getting the getting the tour back at three degrees, which is horrendous. Just recovery, good, again, good for your head. But this, obviously this sport just breaks you. <laughs> it breaks you down. I've never known a sport. I woke up this morning, I couldn't feel my knees. Oh, He's out. He's out. He's out at 117. <laughs> I'll take that the fucking legs broke. <laughs> 170. Man, I might go back in. It's actually my legs. Mate, her legs. Feet. Feet, yeah, feet, yeah. Fuck. Feet, fuck, fuck, fuck. It is the feet. I'm seasoned throughout this shit. He just turns it up now. It's got to be the key getting the head out, surely, over the door. Yeah. Is it? You get in in a minute, feel how cold this is. Put your foot, put your cock in. <laughs> Come on, dip your cock in here now, quick. <laughs> if you, he won't get it over. <laughs> yeah. It's about four, it's about three inches there to the wall. You won't get it. <laughs> Just a little nubbing over right, the side. Right, you know. Take care, bro. See you later, See you later, guys. See you soon. So, see you guys. Where is going? Bye. Done. Why did I decide to do this shit, man? Next time on Stage to the Cage. Hey, weird. Explain this car. Mid-life crisis. Also explains why the fuck I'm doing this stupid shit. <laughs> Jake's jaw's going off. We are at Bromley Footy Club today, uh, and I'm playing in a charity game. Is Daddy going to score? No. No, it's brilliant. <laughs> I knew I'd get injured if I played footy, but I've got to do it. Chance of willing to take. That's a fucking bad day, you know. Oh, it's like getting... Ah! Oh.